Um, ask Reddit thread. Reddit, what's an unethical way you save money? Uh, I pretend I'm gay. The gym I go to charges 50 bucks less if you register as a couple, not as a single. But I don't have an SO, so my best male friend and I registered as a gay couple. The first day, the manager almost asked us to make out to prove it. <laughs> he decided it was homophobic, so he stopped. When we come in, he's always staring while we use the machines together. Like he wants to catch us doing something sexual. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to wish you had just paid 50 bucks when you have to blow your friend to throw the manager off your trail. <laughs> choo choo, bro job, bro job. I have to say, that is a lot of work just to save a few bucks. I don't get why the manager was such a stickler for the technicalities. He should have just let a pair of friends slide, hoping that the other pairs of friends would also join. The promotion was meant to get more people to join. I wonder if the manager keeps track of the breakouts with the straight couples. That would be a lot of work to do. He's not. He just wants to see two dudes make out. Uh, how's that a lot of work? You literally do nothing differently than you normally would. He can't prove you aren't gay just because he doesn't see you doing PDA. I'm engaged to a man. Technically, we're both bisexual, but we don't do PDA at the freaking gym. That's insanely annoying to everyone else. I don't need to hold his hand while we're running on the treadmills or kiss before lifting weights or anything. I'm too busy doing, you know, a workout. The fact that the gym owner needs to verify their gayness is silly. Um... Sneaking into meetings you're not invited to and stealing donuts and colchis. You can take even take this further. Uh, that's four hours that I'd like to have back. Who called that meeting anyway? I must have left my calendar in there. Oh. <laughs> I've discovered a primitive donut scavenging man clad only in yellow sticky notes. I was once like you before the great riff. But rather than leave in humiliation, I decide to stay and live off the land like our proud ancestors. To ensure a bountiful harvest, I do my donut dance to the gods. When that doesn't work, I distribute meeting notices. You're the one. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, when I get the cooked breakfast from the canteen at work, you're allowed five items. I always take extra bacon and hide it under the beans. That's free bacon. Uh, I still use student discounts whenever I can. Not a student. I graduated in 2013, my senior year that came with the new ID card, which doesn't expire till 2018. Ooh. Oh, I wonder how it mine expired. It's, I don't know, I finished high school in 2010. Oh, that seems like so long ago. <laughs> Six years ago. I'm an old piece of shit. My college ID doesn't have an expiration date. I've been out of college nearly four years now and still use it. I don't even think I still have my old ID from high school. Bumming off different friends for their paid subscriptions. Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Cine Zinfini, Sam's Club. Let's see, my sister pays for the Netflix account. I play for Hulu. I pay for Amazon. I also pay for Crunchyroll and Funimation. Yeah, I pay for four subscription services. Amazon, I don't even really use that. If anything, my sister uses it more than I do. <laughs> but I was buying a whole bunch of crap, and I was like, I might as well just pay for Amazon Prime, considering how much I buy from Amazon in the first place. And I had already spent like 50 bucks on shipping, because uh, I, I had Amazon Prime for like the longest time, because they give you a discount when you were like a student. But I used up the year of the student. I think I got a second year of a student payment. Then they finally kicked me off of it. I was like, I don't need Amazon Prime. I don't buy that much stuff anyway. Shipping can't be that expensive. Then after buying a few things and spending like $50 on shipping, I was like, you know what? If I had just bought Amazon Prime, uh, because this has only been a couple of months, and I just happened to buy a few things that cost me a lot of money in shipping, I would might as well just pay the 80 bucks for Amazon Prime for a year. Because it pays for itself with all the free shipping. Uh, yeah, considering how much my other family members use. Because they all, they all have their credit cards registered on my account. <laughs> they just log in to use my Amazon Prime. So considering all the free shipping I've saved, it's already paid for itself. But you also get movies and stuff. Which is nice. I've been planning to watch Korra. I don't really watch Amazon or Netflix that often really. 
Frankly, I watch, I watch Crunchyroll the most. But every once in a while, I do watch stuff from there. Uh, so it's nice to have. Netflix isn't that expensive. If you divide the monthly cost of Netflix between four people, you plus three friends, that does not equal the cost of pizza and snacks at social gatherings. Even if you only get together once a month, your friends are paying too much. Uh, I have a friend who bums our Hulu and WWE network. That bitch is about content and prices on Facebook. <laughs> Fucker, I would change the password, but he's one of my husband's best friends. I've been a bit depressed and haven't spoken with my friend for a few weeks. I use his Netflix account. He just changed the password and I don't want to ask him what it is right away because he's... It's fucked up. I only talked to him to get the Netflix password. Yeah, I wonder why he changed the Netflix password. Buy rosetteri chicken from store. Eat three-fourths of it, returning it, claiming it was undercooked. I had a lady do this every week at a store I used to work at. I hated her with every ounce of my being. Why wouldn't management catch on banner from the store? Some customers are not worth having. A fluent neighborhood in a major grocery chain. It's too much paperwork to ban someone, so I just give the refund and move on. That's 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 actually what I would probably do as well. Uh, back when payphones were a thing, you could carefully shove the fat McDonald's straws into the change slot to my city to get free claws. Free calls. <laughs> you could also just... <laughs> what was it? There's a commercial about how to make the collect call. When you make the collect call, it allows you to say your name, but if you just say the message really quickly, they don't have to accept it. Like, Mom, can pick me up. That's your name. Would you like to accept a call from Mom, can pick me up? I want to practice. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, France here. Some people create groups where they each give 5 to 10 euro a month. I think that's euro. Uh, a month. The subway in Paris costs around 60 euro a month. And use the subway or other public transport without paying. When one of them get caught, the group use money to pay the fine. Where they each give to use the subway without paying. Wow, I've never met a whole country before. Uh, first, National Bank of GameStop. Does anyone else use GameStop as a bank? I got really pissed off with the US Bank because I kept overdrafting my account, even though I opted out, and the same thing happened with my credit union when I got a debit card. Now whenever I get paid, I go pre-order a whole shitload of games. Whenever I need money, I go to the nearest GameStop and ask for my money back on a game I don't want to make a withdrawal. The lines are shorter at GameStop than the bank, and I can trade in old games and have money to go straight into my savings account. GameStops are just as prevalent as banks in my town. And I work at a mall, so it's even more convenient than running an errand to the bank or using an ATM and getting charged. The GameStop people are starting to catch on that I'm moving money around and only buying one pre-ordered game a year. If that, but there isn't a shit they can do about it. That's the best part. Since I always pre-order every game coming out, I'm still guaranteed to get all the exclusive content, whether or not I'm sure I want a certain game. It's like they're rewarding me for banking with them. I can't decide if you're retarded or brilliant. I don't think GameStops are FDIC insured. I'm very confused how this works. So he buys the game then returns it? What's the point of that? He puts full money down on a pre-order that then goes back in later and says he no longer wants the game and they give him a refund. But with the added bonus of pre-order exclusives. Uh, in the 90s, I was starting my last year of school. You could have school dinners paid for in advance term laid by your parents, or you could bring a packed lunch. I was a packed lunch kid, but if you got your packed lunch, you could get a school dinner and pay for it the next day. One day I forgot my lunch, so I got in the school dinner queue and waited to be served. I thought they'd realize I wasn't a school dinner child and tell me to bring money tomorrow, but they didn't. The food was actually not bad, and the next day I tried my luck again. They just assumed my parents had paid and nobody bothered to check. I got free school dinners for about a year. Wow, they don't check? I remember at my school, well, at least he did say in the 90s that he probably didn't have prevalent computer systems back then. Because we had to punch in our ID if we wanted to get food from the cafeteria. At my school, they had free lunches for kids who were low income, but to avoid embarrassment, they were given cards that looked identical to everyone else's card. The computer would just not charge their account. My friend would just give his card to other people and they'd get free lunch. The system had no check to see if the same card bought seven lunches in one day. Wow. 
My mom got us hooked up with low-income lunches for a while in high school. Right after we started regularly having Chinese available. Best 40 cent lunches of my life. I used to get reduced lunches all the time. I grew up really poor. So I either got free or really reduced lunch. Whole food gives a 5 cent discount if you bring your own bag. Pick up single habanero pepper. Free pepper. If you bring your pick up a single... Oh, okay, so they cost five cents. If someone went to all the trouble, I'd just say go for it. <laughs> Pepper doubles as a butt plug. <laughs> uh, I accidentally discovered the laundry machines in my building take 20 euro cent coins instead of the two dollar coins. The last time I was in Germany, I saved as many as I could, and now a load of laundry costs about 50 cents instead of four dollars. Imagine the laundromat owner going to collect the change. Who the fuck is depositing euros? As a college student, stealing silverware from the dining hall has saved me a ton of money. Plot twist, your tuition is covering the cost of replacing silverware stolen by previous students. Uh, Torrentine, my friend. You wouldn't torrent a friend, would you? I would if I could. I never got removed from an employee discount plan for a job I left almost seven years ago. I get 75% off every month on my phone bill and internet. Nice. Oh, I remember. I only had one job. But we used to get a whole bunch of really nice benefits. Not real benefits. It was an entertainment place. What I meant to say is it was a really nice place to go for free if you wanted to take someone out on a date since it was a hot date spot. I wonder if I would still be able to get free stuff. No, I don't think so. I, the cards expire after a year. And I got fired like three years ago. A buddy of mine has access to a subsidized transit pass through his work which has unlimited rides. He does use public transit but not that frequently. I buy him a charge use card for the trips he does take and he uses unlimited cards in exchange. And to use his unlimited card in exchange. It's got his picture ID on it but it's FRID so I never have to take it out of my wallet. Ooh. Uh, selling single cigarettes to school kids for a buck a pop. Wow. In 10th grade, I was still too young to get a job. My mom was working her ass off just to support us. I found out that the on-campus youth center served lunch every day as a non-profit organization. I then found out that the only guy working there really needed help, so we made a deal. I volunteer to serve food and clean up. He gives me free lunch. For the whole school year, I got to buy with maybe $5 a week, which paid for drinks because those were sold at cost. And because most of the food was mass produced, like french fries, there was no reason to keep extra at the end of the day, so I was always able to get double serving with extra sides. The servings were kept small to mitigate waste food, and that everybody got served. So, while everyone else had $20 to $50 a week for food, I managed to get by with less than 5 My mom never knew about it because I didn't want her to break the bank trying to feed me with overpriced school food. $5 a week, that's about how much I spend. For your unethical method was to work at a nonprofit. <laughs> if I can't find it on demand for free or on Netflix, I'm pirating it. The problem is that I wouldn't mind watching something on TV channel most of the time, but I'm not going to pay fifty dollars a month just so I can watch one TV show at the time when TV channels broadcast it with ads. For half the price, you have Netflix. I can legally share Netflix, so it's only four dollars. It's full HD and five point one sound as well. What's the downside? Nothing. So I'm simply not going to pay that much. What's the point of that? Yeah, I, I'm pretty much subscribed to every major, uh, what is it, video streaming service? Well, mainly because I'm subscribed to two of them that are purely anime, plus Hulu for the anime. Because for those of you who don't know, Hulu has the largest selection of anime out of all the streaming services. Netflix has a good selection. It's small. But they have, like, all of the best anime shows on Netflix. So if you just want to get into net, uh, get into anime, Netflix is a great place because they have all of the great shows, which is pretty cool. They, I'm surprised for the small selection they have. They have top-notch stuff. I've already seen them all, obviously. But if you're new to, to anime, Netflix is a great place to start. Uh, Self-service checkout at the supermarket. No, I don't have any bags, Russell Russell. You don't need to charge me 5p, Russell. <laughs> when I got to the seminar, 
cinema, I bring my own sweets and popcorns. I'm always told I can't bring it in. I then ask to speak to the manager and tell him I have a severe allergy to nuts or milk or whatever. He then just stands there awkwardly and just lets me in. Wow. I carry a good sized purse, not so large as to be suspicious, but large enough to fit a couple of water bottles and a buttload of candy. I've never been, been to a movie theater where they insist on inspecting your bags. I commute to work by train and have a subscription ticket for it, but I don't pay when I really have to. I have to change trains on my way, but the ticket really is only for one train route. None checks all the zones marked on my ticket, only if the date is right. This saves about 30 euros per month. I do this for about a year now. My ticket gets checked almost daily. I can wait to work by train and have a subscription ticket for it, but I don't pay what I really have to. I have to change trains on my way, but the ticket really only is for one train route. Hmm. Uh, did you figure this out by accident, or did you just go for it? I first drove part of the way by car, then decided to try to leave the car at home to save more money. I don't want to get a pricier ticket just to try it out for one week to see if it works and get to work on time. I was hoping to don't get controlled, and if I would, I would come up with a stupid excuse that my car is in the workshop. However, I was controlled, but no problems, no questions. I then decided to always use the train for the whole, whole way to work, even if I had to get a pricier ticket. But I just never got a pricier ticket. Tried out how long I'll get away with it. So long, no problem. Alright, uh, English is obviously not this person's not first language, but it was still, you can get the gist of it. Uh, someone else is playing for my internet. A few weeks ago, I went online to see why I haven't been getting a bill. I expected to see a huge balance and a discount notice. Instead, I see my account is set up for auto pay, which someone else's credit card. This has been going on for a little over a year, and I do not intend to raise any flags about it. <laughs> I thought this was happening to me a while back. Turns out it was auto drafting directly from my checking account, which is a different number from all my cards. Um, whole foods trick. Fill your coffee bag with deluxe imported coffee beans. Write down the code for the cheapest kind. Hmm, thug life as you brew each morning. Fair trade. Good old fraud. It's not a trick, it's just illegal, mate. First criteria of the question, though. It's an unethical way to save money. So it's just stealing everything you need, but I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> so my job sent me to Japan several times. The train system is interesting there so we found fun ways to exploit the system. We figured out how to abuse the hell out of the station pass. When you get on any train, you can buy a ticket to your destination, or you can buy a station pass, which is about 50 cents. When you get off, you scan the station pass, and it calculates how far you've ridden and charges you the difference. When we got off the plane in Tokyo, we bought a dozen train passes for Tokyo Station. Then when we arrived at our destination, about a hundred dollar fare from Tokyo, we purchased a month long ticket between adjacent stations. This ticket will let you on and off the train at either of those stations for a month. It's very cheap because fare between two close stations is only a few bucks. Travel to Tokyo, hop on a base station, use monthly pass, hop off in Tokyo, use station pace. Uh, cost hundred dollar ride, fifty cents. Travel home, hop on to Tokyo with station pass, hop off base station with month pass. Cost for ride, fifty cents. And it also for fun sightseeing, you can ride the trains all over Japan for free as long as you don't leave the stations. Huh. <laughs> can you explain it differently? I didn't understand at all. More or less, they scan a card saying they left a nearby station to come to where they are. In reality, they traveled very far but used a ticket saying they didn't. Uh, in my city, you can either load a monthly subscription or just load a set amount of money into your bus pass. A ride a monthly is $100. So when I was busing to work, I used to just load $50 and not tap my car to the morning rides. I would only tap on my way home because the transpo cops were more likely to be patrolling in the afternoons. Now I drive to work, but the monthly parking pass is $200. Ain't nobody got time to pay for that, so I just park on the side of the street where they're are two hour parking zones, but I usually don't move my car every two hours. It seems those rarely get checked because in the two months I've been doing this, I've only gotten two tickets at $50 a ticket. It's still the cheapest option, but I don't even bother paying the tickets because I work in a different provenance than the one I live in. Oh wait, than the one I live in, and as far as I can tell, there's no co collaboration between the two 
visa, visa traffic ticket so they don't fall out to make sure you've paid. Oh, okay, so basically he parks in a place because it's cheaper to pay the ticket than it is to pay for the parking. Buying senior citizen movie tickets online and print out at work. The doorman never looked nor seems to care. They just point you in the direction of your auditorium. $2 saved per ticket. Cha-ching! Uh, I've been stealing bottles of ketchup and brown sauce from my local pub for years. Hell, I'd say almost all the glasses and mugs I have were liberated from that pub. Uh, after Netflix removed the season of 24 I was in the middle of watching, I canceled my subscription and restored to er, alternate methods of watching. You know it's illegal to look in people's windows, right? My wife and I decided to watch King of the Hill from start to finish on Netflix about four days before they took it down. Yar here, fiddle dee dee, being a pirate is alright with me. If I am planning on going out and a fancy certain restaurant, I go online maybe two weeks in advance, sign up to their mailing list, and give my birthday as being the day I'm planning on going. Most places give you some sort of freebie for your birthday. That seems like a lot of trouble I'm planning to go for. I asked to go to a particular convention every year that I don't care for so that I can vacation on the company's dime at that time in that city. Uh, back when Redbox was a thing, I would rent a game. Or wait, Redbox is still a thing. Back when Redbox is still a thing, I would rent a game with one of those Amex reloadable cards and never return it. Can't beat $2 for a $60 game. Redbox is still a ding. Is still a thing. Do they have those things that can prevent this now? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do. I haven't done it in years, but I think I read somewhere that they only accept real credit card and debit cards, no reloadable ones. And I was way late to the party, so I was doing it probably at the tail end of when they allowed prepaid cards. I'm pretty sure they stopped accepting them because people were doing this. Uh, it's not a thing in Canada anymore. There's... I know we have some. Like at the grocery store I go to, like every other day. Well, not every other day. I go there a couple times a week. Uh, they have two of those little machines right next to the place where you get water. Since I go there and fill up my two five gallon things of water because I like real water and not tap water because tap water where I live tastes like shit uh, and I always see people there those things are really popular I tried with the preloaded visa last week and it didn't take my card at all they must have caught on I use the bags meant for clothes donation by charities as bin liners I thought for a second that you meant to use clothes donation bins as litter bins, was thinking, what a dick. Uh, one off thing, but I took my then girlfriend to the art museum in a city where we're both college students. Students got in free, as did minors. She forgot her ID and I didn't feel like paying the 10 dollars, so I showed my ID as a 21 year old and she got to be 17 for the day. Huh. I scanned Honeycrisp apples as Macintosh at the self checkout. Sometimes when the bus driver isn't looking, I put in two dollars and a nickel instead of two dollars and a dime. What? It doesn't count the... the money? I, I used to take the bus a lot. Uh, it was only like a year ago, actually. A little less than a year ago. And that thing was electronic. It counted exactly what you put in. Do you go to a bus thing that's not electronic? Hmm. 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 Buy college textbooks as ebooks on Amazon. Remove DRM and convert to PDF. Return ebook to Amazon claiming something along the lines of I decide to drop the class. Free college textbooks. Super easy with Calibre. In most cases where that might not work, I can typically find a torrent, though I'm much more wary of those sources. Ooh, that's genius. I remember I bought a Kindle just to buy textbooks on it. Uh, and the Kindle has been such great value. I actually use that every day. Huh. I guess that is one of the most valued things I buy in besides the PSP. My line manager will buy things online if it isn't sent uh, record delivery. Wait, my line manager will buy things online if it isn't sent recorded delivery. He'll contact the seller a few days after it arrives to say he hasn't received it yet and get another send for free. Whenever a package arrives for him at the office, now I'll contact the company that sent it first to warn that he's going to do it. 
Wow, what a dick. I use an Amazon Firebox that's modded. Let's me watch literally anything, anytime. TV shows, movies, live TV, live pay-per-view, live sports, anything. Got sick and tired of paying for cable and satellite. And Amazon Firebox? What? Half the people... Yeah, but what about TV from a dimension where people evolved from corn? <laughs> I've heard the latest versions are extremely hard to root unless you do a hardware mod. How do you do that? I guess he roots it to a computer? Huh. Because <laughs> I have an Amazon Fire Stick, and that thing's pretty convenient. The only thing I have to complain about is that it doesn't have Crunchyroll or Funimations as one of the streaming options. Which is kind of dumb, because the Kindle has it, but whatever. <laughs> 